y'all boys man back with another video try to make this jump quick again got a little boss man d low maybe yt fat type little jump uh let's get straight into it bro we're gonna start with i started with i had a melody already in my head so i just wanted to go get a flute so i just went and got me a flute up out of x man that's what i did Yeah, that's pretty much what I started with. I just had that na 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 na. I just had that in my head, so I put it exactly on here. And then, like you can see, even like this, this is a progression of like an 808. So it's like boom, boom, boom. So I got that hitting on the 808, and even right here, I got this hitting on the 808. Even before I did it, this note as well, these two notes as well. So it's like I already started off pretty good. The melody is, you know, following the 808. And shit like that off rips before I even put it on her. Next thing I did, uh, this bells are pad. Oh, oh, I got a um, little guitar vocal pad. I think not vocal, a little guitar pad. So I just played um, like four notes in there and just had that repeating the whole time, as you can see. That's pretty much it. I just got that repeating the whole time. And then I just layered it. I just layered it up with another uh, massive pad, just simple. Uh, lowered the octave as well. Pretty simple because it's just layering the notes. All you had to do was copy and paste the same one, two, three, four. So I played a whole. Oh, matter of fact, I ain't even done. Uh, this is what I got for the bass. I got boo bass. It's free. Y'all boys get into that. just copied and pasted it and just added this little half note right there but y'all see this i feel like that's a nice little boss man d low bass type of thing type of shit that they be liking to do on his jump i feel like they they do be having a bass so definitely y'all get in the boo bass is free you dig it y'all boys for sure get into that but um yeah we pretty much kept the beat simple i like the bass notes in there and even though i'm gonna keep the 808 too yeah, I like that. It's kind of like creepy, spooky type boss man deal type shit. I'm gonna play the uh, bell. Super simple. And I got it playing the same thing on there, so I don't really need to go too in depth with that. I'm gonna play the whole thing real quick. pretty much it it might sound like there's a lot going on but keep in mind when you're doing the arrangements and shit you're not gonna have everything playing the whole time you dig it uh this is just a you know what i'm saying that rough cut before i start arranging and little shit like that but um yeah so that's pretty much that i'm gonna go into the drums let me start off with let me start off with the 808 because it's the most simple stuff it pretty much just um layers my first melody of the flute Got that jump hitting nice and hard. Velocity all the way up. Uh, with the hi-hats, I really kept it simple. Very first thing I did was I, f I filled with two steps, right? Fills two steps. Ah, oh, damn. Command Z, or it might be control. Not not control. I don't know what it's going to be for y'all. Uh, but anyways, I just did, you know, filled every two steps. Did that, right? And I came in here and did just like that. Just filled that in right then after that i went up under did me some notes right here right just put in these where i you know got bouncy and jiggy with it then I, all i did was literally come right back in and just loop that that part i don't go out and do a hella you know what i'm saying i keep it i keep it pretty simple with the hats because for the videos like like i said i kind of gotta 
You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be a longer video. But I came in with the uh, snare and a clap. Um, they're just overlapping or, or they're just layered up. There's nothing. They actually don't do anything. They don't do anything extra. Uh, when you layer it, it gives it more of that like trap or boss man D low type of. You know what I'm saying? It, it sounds nice when you layer the clap and the snare. Then I got another snare. You know, just playing a, a note in between a note. And then in the last part of um, eight bar, I got it planned too. Real simple. Real simple. Then with these beats, you want the perks going crazy. I didn't go too crazy though. I just added um, the little layup rim. Got that playing a little little try a little jump right there. And then I got the uh, I got the little arcade sound. You know what I'm oh, I guess I'll throw it in the open hat. That's pretty much all the drums, though. The open hat, that's self-explanatory. Uh, you put that where you want. But I do got it hitting um, on the 808. So, like, at the end of the 8 bar, I got it literally hitting tss, tss, tss on the 808, you know. So, that's a good way to do it if you want. Have your open hat hitting right on the 808. Come on. That's pretty much it. Y'all hear the little arcade, little, you know what I'm saying? That's that's pretty much it, bro. I'm telling you. You dig it. Uh, It really ain't nothing to it, bro. I made this video nice and short for y'all. I probably don't even got to edit this jump for real. Uh, pretty simple. I just had a melody in my head and I just put it down. Like I said in my other videos. Y'all, when y'all got, when y'all hear something on Instagram and y'all like, oh, that sounds good. Literally go straight to your computer and start putting it in. You know what I'm saying? Get that practice in. You lo you know what I mean? Get that practice in. Do what you got to do to, you know what I'm saying? Let go. Y'all boys hit me up on Instagram. Y'all get in them comments. Like, subscribe. Let me know what y'all want next. Comment what y'all want next, bro. Let's get on the game. Let's do something. Girl, I've been I'm out.